o'clock invocation given by Mayor Shelton. Pledge of allegiance on Mr. Ashman. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us and all the blessings that come with it. We just ask that you watch over these proceedings and be with the council and give them wisdom to do the best thing to the best of their abilities. Continue to watch over the employees of the city and our servicemen and women. And everything we do, we do in honor to you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whitney, you live well, Tom, Mr. Bailey? Here. Mr. Gary Stewart? Here. Mr. Mike Ashburn? Here. Mr. Craig Mushman? Here. Uh, 
uh, we would be notified if we're successful in the grant. It's a, a fall awarding in October, and funds would be available in the late winter, early spring of next year. So, so this funding would be on next year's budget. Then. Yes, yes. And the and I might add the the twenty percent match of the city can include in kind services, not necessarily cash money. The vote all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Number four, consider pine cutting and recommendation for the contract for Mellon Lodge. I'm going to entertain a motion to accept this contract. I'll make that motion. To say it. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed, say no. Consider approval of the contracts for the Goose Pond boat launch and floating dock expansion projects. <coughs> Mayor, do you want to? Well, this is, uh, as you know, we rebid the, the, we got awarded the grant, uh, we rebid the project. Um, <coughs> these prices came in a little higher than the, the grant application, and so uh, Lyle and I met with uh, Kelly Tapp and Kelly Group, and there was some bag engineering done. Uh, the low bidder, Lambert contracting agreed and so we're asking for the approval of this contract. We also did the same with the floating boat dock. It was a separate contract for the dock. But uh, I believe this approved would be covering both contracts. The the boat the boat ramp is three eighty three nine eighty and the floating boat dock is hundred twelve thousand four hundred and seventy four which puts both contracts at Four hundred ninety-six thousand four hundred fifty-four dollars, uh, and the value engineering was right at twenty-one thousand. I'll entertain a motion to accept. I'll make a motion. Second. I'll second. Any discussion? None being. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Next is consider landfill equipment place. Mayor, that might be a good one. Well, as you know, uh, but Stacy, Stacy's not here. Stacy here? No. Uh, we talked about it last week, the work session. This is for a compactor at the landfill. <coughs> Transmission's out of one of those. It's a critical piece of equipment and he's requesting a, a lease on this piece of equipment through Caterpillar Financial and it will come out of the, the capital outlay sanitation. Do I have a motion for this equipment please? I'll make that motion. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Next is to consider a holiday in July field for the city employees. Or maybe Mr. Ashburn. That's Mr. Ashburn. Yeah, that's Mr. Ashburn. I just I get it one way or the other, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is uh this is to add a holiday that's not on schedule for the city employees. And uh, the, for the people that not have to work that day or the emergency service people, they will take it on another day. And they will want the money. If they get work, if they have to work, they do not get paid extra. They just get to take that day off again. And uh, they need to take this day before the end of the year, uh, according to Mr. Wheeler, that uh, at the end of the year, it turn into sick time. I also understand it would be just for this calendar. Yes, yes, just a one time. Just one time. Right. 
Do I have a motion to approve this holiday? I make that motion. And second. Second. Any discussion? If none, all in favor say aye. Aye. I'll oppose sir. Next up is to announce appointments to the Commercial Development Authority Board. <coughs> this time I'll open the floor to nominations. I'd like to bundle this together and just nominate the uh, two that were on it before, uh, Nathan Allen and Tanner Harvin, to put them both back on it, if that's okay. This is your two positions. Close nominations. Do I have a motion? To accept these two applicants. I'll make it motion. I'll have a second. I second. Any discussion? All in, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Next up is a nice appointment to the Goose Pond Board. This time I'll open the nominations. I nominate Eric Estes. Close nominations. Do I have a motion to accept this nomination? I'll make a motion. You have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Next is. Uh, I'm going to announce appointments to the Museum Commission. <coughs> Looks like we have two applicants. Is that right? We have two applicants and two positions open. That being said, I just have a motion to accept these applicants. I'll make that motion. I have a second. Second. All in favor. Say aye. Aye. I'm opposed to it. Last thing is a nice appointment to the Downtown Redevelopment Authority Board. This time I'll open for nominations. I'd like to nominate Brent. Why was nomination? We have a motion to accept this nomination. I like that motion. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Say aye. 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 It gets down to reports, delegations. Miss Ivy, we'll hear the same. Thank you. I'm not going to take much time. I just wanted to update you on uh, the Heritage Center. Uh, as far as I know, we don't have any contact or have not had contact yeah. with uh, KPS about the contract, so we're waiting to hear back from them on that. I would like to report on fundraising. Uh, we have mailed approximately a thousand mailings to citizens and to businesses, and I know that we have not reached near the number of people that we should because of addresses and that kind of thing. But I want to remind the public that we will accept donations even if they didn't get a, receive a mailing. Uh, if they would like to make a tax deductible, federal tax deductible uh, contribution to the Heritage Center Association Building Fund, we would be more than happy to accept that donation and would be most thankful for their generosity. Uh, if they have any questions, they can contact uh, the Heritage Center at 259-2122. Uh, we will be glad to mail them information, uh, be glad to accept their check. Uh, they can mail that to Post Office Box 53, Scottsboro, and uh, we will acknowledge that. And as I said, that is a federal tax exempt. We are a uh, 501 c3 corporation uh, nonprofit <coughs> so uh, we encourage those that did not receive any information and would like to contribute to do so uh, I would also uh, like to bring your attention to the clarion 
Um, I don't know if you have read, uh, this is the June 19th edition. There is a wonderful article in here written by uh, one of their reporters who is here. Uh, she, was, she was most generous. It was uh, it's one of the best articles that explains the Heritage Center, our purpose, our mission, uh, the things that we have there, the artifacts, the resource materials, the Sage Town uh, property and all of that. And I encourage anyone who has not been to the Heritage Center to see the Brown Proctor House, uh, to see the grounds, all of that. This summer, while the students are out of school, if parents need an activity for them, call and schedule a visit. Adults schedule a visit. We have had quite a few more tour groups come through since this process has begun. And we're excited about having them. We had the bicentennial group that came through last week. I think there were like 35 adults that came through uh, from all over this area to tour and to see. And also another article that was in the week before that was written by Annette Bradford about the uh, slain U.S. Uh, Marshal. Um, nearly a hundred years ago that was buried here in Cedar Hill Cemetery. Uh, the article touches on what um, the group from Texas that was researching uh, that deputy or that marshal uh, contacted the Heritage Center, the resources that we had and the resources that our cemetery department had at uh, Cedar Hill allowed uh, that grave to be found and a marker was placed there on that uh, unmarked grave for that gentleman and his wife through generous donations uh, from citizens in Scottsboro. So we can see how the Heritage Center has an impact not only here in our community but all across the nation. And again, we're very appreciative of your support and we look forward once we get a contract and get going working uh, with you throughout this process, and we appreciate what you've done for us. Thank you for your work, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Five minutes. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mashman. I, it's what I asked to speak with you all earlier about and uh, be placed on the agenda that was not to be though so i'll speak now about it and that is open government and sunshine and government sunshine and government think about it as the prevention for the people of corruption in government sunshine is in open government is that which prevents corruption in the people's government and it's our government y'all work for the people every one of you you're part of the government and are our stewards of the government and so in, these, in this document that I gave you, this is about disclosures. And I have requested disclosures uh, several times. And most of the time, those disclosures are provided. There's some disclosures that have not been provided. And I understand there's a reason for those disclosures which have been requested and not provided. I've discussed this uh, with Mr. Kenner. We sat down and had a, a good discussion about it. Uh, our ideas were uh, exchanged. But uh, <clears throat> the basic rule, though, and I think it's important for the custodians of the records to know this, is that there should be, and I understand why you want to get the uh, opinion of, of the attorney on this, but the basic rule is that disclosures should be provided unless there's a specific exception by law. And there are some exceptions by law, and the one thing I would suggest to the custodians of these records, which is stated on this form, the Scottsboro form, which is Ms. Phillips and the mayor, both are stated on here, that you specifically uh, address when in the future, if there are disclosures that are requested, that you reply to the citizen or another official that may be requesting those disclosures specifically for the reason you're not going to disclose that record. And, uh, and there's some concerns here. I said, Y'all being the, the stewards of the people, and the uh, uh, 
the subject matter which I have requested it appears it could be some matters still under investigation by the state attorney general. Uh, there's concerns with uh, fairness and employee due process. And I would hope that uh, because of the, the nature of, of, the, of the concerns and the, the management of these employees is not just on the mayor, it's on y'all because, you know, the council hires and fires appointed employees. So y'all must be uh, involved in this process when it involves a appointed official in the city which y'all are responsible for. I have some concerns about that. There's a long time concern which Mr. Kenner and myself discussed this employee handbook. You've been contemplating doing the employee handbook now I think for three years that I can remember and it's still not completed. That has to be done. Some of these issues would be covered in the employee handbook. But again, think about open government as the great sunshine on, on this government, our government, the people's government, to prevent the corruption. Uh, the documents I uh, gave you uh, highlight some of these concerns and also the law. Uh, some Attorney General's opinions here. I've uh, quoted uh, an opinion from uh, Mr. Uh, Dennis Bailey, who is the general counsel from the Alabama Press uh, Association. Mr. Kimmer made me aware of some uh, uh, other opinions of the Attorney General, which is applicable this, in this case. And the reason I stand up before you today, and I have before, is because I happen to care about the, the government of the city of Scottsburg. And it's important. The job that y'all do is very important. And nobody else, a lot of other people may not speak to the issue, but I will. You may not agree with me, and you certainly, you know, we can argue about it, we can discuss it. But I'll be, I'll be up front and honest with you. This, uh, what has occurred within the city, what is going on now, is it's a concern. There's been some issues of long time going, uh, that has occurred. Uh, and I am concerned about the uh, discriminatory actions that has occurred in the past. That must cease, whoever it may involve, however it is involved. That cannot be allowed to occur. Creation of a hostile work environment cannot be allowed to continuously occur. I'm, I'm taking that part of those issues have been addressed. Hopefully it will not be any, any more of a problem. Maybe it will, I don't know. But uh, the management of the city, that's on y'all. Again, y'all are our stewards and I hope you do a good job because you know, being our stewards, it is citizens that makes the decision whether we're going to elect you or not. So you think about that and please think about open government and the purpose of it. Thank you. Mike. Uh, I just want to compliment Lyle and his staff and, and Meg Nippers, our marketing event coordinator, on the job they've done in the past. Uh, I was down there in Fairmount Saturday and Sunday, but nothing compared to the hours they put in on this. And outstanding job, a lot of positive comments. Uh, we've made some, uh, had some good meetings with other, other folks interested in using our facilities in the months and years to come and it's I think gonna be a great investment for our community. My hat's off to everybody that participated. Mr. Stewart. Well I too was I was there Friday, I hadn't been back since, but um, Friday there was a big crowd there. I'm, I was really surprised to be at work day. It said Saturday and Sunday were much larger, so there was a lot of people interested in this, and this was really a big deal. A lot of it was carried on ESPN. Um, I, my son even said, "I got on TV." Today. <laughs> but uh, our bass, our bass club, uh, the high school bass team, helped with, with the uh, tournament, and there was a lot of people that helped with the tournament. And I wanted to thank all of them for doing what they've done. But uh, we appreciate the turnout. We uh, thank you all for being here tonight. So, Mr. Ashford, uh, Mayor, uh, just wanted to get with you on that stop sign down on Wind Road. Uh, I think we need to go on Chief Dahl's recommendation of where to put it. Is there anything we need to do as far as the council, or can we just go on with a sign? <coughs> Y'all have previously granted the executive the authority to do those things with the chief over there. Okay, I'm going to get explained and discuss it. Yeah. And uh, I too went to the bass tournament on Saturday, and it was a crowd. 
and it was hot, and uh, it uh, there was a lot of people that had a hard time finding a parking place. But uh, other than that, I appreciate y'all coming out tonight. Thank you, Mr. Brady. Just want to echo the same thing about the last tournament. You can tell by where my face is. I was down there. It was very hot out there. Now you and Meg just did an outstanding job, and the whole crew did a good Great job. Appreciate everybody coming out. And I, I tell you what, Echo, those same sentiments, they've done a great job. Wow, your whole crew did a great job. Of course, Meg, it takes a lot to put an event like that on. And the extreme heat, it, uh, you can tell I got some sun too. I had to buy me a hat after being there about 10 minutes. So, but it was, it was very good to see the turnout we had. And it takes a lot, like I said, a lot of effort to put something like that on. Thank everyone for coming out. And just, we have a motion to adjourn. I'm making a motion. Second. Second.